Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your October 2023. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So uh, we are going to take a look and see, um, take a look at the, the person that you're dealing with, was dealing with. We're going to see what this person did to you. And then we'll finish off to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So, uh, and um, why this person did it. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to... Uh, Book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in um, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Okay, so uh, tell me about... Um, tell me about uh, Taurus, the person that Taurus is dealing with thinking of, was dealing with. What did this person do to Taurus? What did this person do to Taurus? For October 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. For Taurus here. Tell me about Taurus. Taurus. Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person was leading you on. Definitely breadcrumbing you here with the Six of Pentacles here. The Empress. I feel like there was a lot that Vigo couldn't take in this relationship here. Yeah, I feel like you're really caring, very nurturing towards this individual. And I feel like this person was just taking a lot. Yeah, this person was just taking a lot. And this person was not giving back. Person definitely was leading you on in a way. Uh, we have the Empress here, Libra, Taurus energy. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, um, I feel like over time, I feel like you realize that you're wasting time on this person here. Yeah, I, I do feel like, you know, there's a sense of like the universe was trying to wake you up from the situation here because it definitely was creating a bit of a karmic imbalance here because of that. Because so much energy was being expended from you. So much energy was going back, going out, but it was not being returned to you, you know? Um, that's why there was a lack of equal give and take with the Eight of Wands here and the Eight of Cups. I feel like it really took you some sort of courage to really walk away from this individual. Um, you know, I feel like you had a hard time doing it. Um, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person was very emotionally not really invested into you too, okay? So, um, you know, I just feel like, uh, you know, I just feel like this tower moment had to happen in order for you to, like, sort of step away from this. I feel like it was hard for you because I feel like you kind of like wear your heart on your sleeve you're like a mama bear papa bear sort of uh, uh, type of person but you just couldn't you just couldn't continue giving to this anymore six of pentacles here in the five of wands i do feel like there were arguments surrounding this i do feel like this person might have made you feel very jealous or something like that or try to make you feel jealous because i feel like this person was i almost get the feeling that this person was like testing you to make sure that you wanted them. And I feel like this person definitely talked about other people, brought around other people to see how you would react. I, I feel like this person was definitely trying to mess with an empress here. And they didn't work. It might have made you feel bad for, you know, a little bit, but you were just like, no, yeah. Five of wands, five of pentacles here. There was definitely a lot of conflict here. Ten of pentacles here in the tower. Six of pen uh, seven of pentacles here in the high priestess. Yeah, you realize that you couldn't be in this relationship with this person. I feel like your body was like, your whole body, when you were around this person, was just really uncomfortable. And that's saying a lot, because like I said, our bodies, I, like I've always said, our bodies have that innate ability to reject that's not ours. And that's what, that's what happened here. The Eight of Wands. We had the Three of Swords. This person definitely broke your heart in a way. Eight of Cups and the Death card here. Yeah, there was definitely an ending here. I, I do feel like this person is breadcrumbing you, maybe putting you in third-party situations, keeping secrets here. But I do feel like maybe the secret was revealed and they feel like they're, the, the, uh, 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 um, what they were hiding, the secrets that they had, really came crashing down on them. Uh, you know, keep in mind, secrets, lies, they don't stay hidden under the surface forever. They always have a way of revealing itself. 
Yeah, always. Uh, that's the way. That's uh, the way the uh, karmic scales balance out. Um, why did this person do this to Taurus? Why did this person do this to Taurus for October twenty twenty three? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. Why did this person do this to Taurus? Why did this person do this to Taurus for October 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. We have the Five of Swords and the Four of Wands. The Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Uh, the uh, Three of Wands and the Two of Swords. I, I really feel like they were testing you. Yeah. They were, they were testing you to make sure that you really, 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 really wanted them. I mean, when there is love, you know, when there is connection, you know, you don't need to play games like this. So this person's insecurities really got the best of them here. This person definitely has a lot of baggage. This person's definitely someone here who's very inconsistent, very in and out. Now they're in complete denial about what they did here. Now they want you back. Now they're yearning for you. Now they're missing you here. But yeah, I do feel like this is over. Yeah, this is over. The games that they played here really got the best of them here. Yeah, it really got the best of the best of them here. They they basically lost at their own game here, uh, uh, Taurus. They lost at their own game here. The world and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ten of Wands, and the Lovers, and the Knight of Wands, and the Sun. I feel like they're definitely realizing their mistakes here. They're realizing that you are their happiness. They're realizing that you are their soulmate here. They're realizing that, they, you know, they're missing you. They're yearning for you. They're realizing that they shouldn't have played this game. You know, they should have, shouldn't have been testing you. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're waiting for you to come back. Three of Wands and the Devil. Wow. This person has a history of doing this. Two of Swords and Eight of Swords here. It's a control thing for them. It's a control thing for them. But I feel like every time that this person does this, this person loses. This person's... What's that saying? When you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes or that you win dumb prizes. And I feel like that's exactly what this person did. They played dumb, get stupid games and they won a stupid prize. And it, I feel like the prize is just nothing. It's a, the prize is just, a, you know, uh, karma that you're accumulating for yourself by behaving this way. Yeah. So, um, Taurus, I, I don't see you actually getting back together with this individual. I just feel like you don't have time for this. I do feel like, you know... Um, you know, this might have stung here, but I just feel like you're moving on. You're moving on. You're not wasting any more time on this person here. Yeah, I, I feel like this person like drove you nuts. Yeah, this person drove you drove you nuts here, uh, Taurus. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.